Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from 4xLive.com. Today's date is October 25th, 2023. In this video, I'll kickstart your Forex trading day for the U.S. session by taking a look at three of the major currency pairs, the euro versus U.S. dollar, the dollar versus yen, and the sterling versus U.S. dollar. So let's get started. We'll start, start by taking a look at the euro versus U.S. dollar. And the uh, after a rally in the uh, Asian session, we saw a rotation back to the downside in the euro versus U.S. dollar that extended the sharp decline that we saw in trading yesterday which I uh, saw the pair trending uh, to the downside, uh, breaking um, through all sorts of uh, le levels in the, uh, on the way, including the 100-hour moving average. As you can see in the Asian session, the price did try to get back above that moving average, but found resistance against this swing area between 1.060 and 1.0616. Remember from the daily chart, uh, that level also, or that area also corresponds with the 38.2% retracement of the move up from the September 2022 low. To the July 2023 high, that level uh, comes in at 1.06106. And if we go back to the hour, hourly chart, that is within this area right here. And there's a price approach toward the uh, low of that uh, swing area, which, by the way, goes back in time uh, to these levels right through here, 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 so on and so forth. You can see see the levels importance of the uh, sellers uh, re-entered and pushed the price to the downside. Uh, we did get below the 200 hour moving average. That's the green line in this chart. We've been trading above and below it over the last four or so trading hours. Uh, so the market is uh, sort of taking a little breather here. Uh, and the low price uh, today did stall against the low prices from last Friday's trade. Uh, so uh, there is maybe some modest uh, support against that area that if uh, if broken, we should continue its move to the downside. Uh, so watch the 200 hour moving average. It's a barometer for traders uh, today on the top side. Uh, the uh, low prices are from uh, this uh, area right through here um, is, uh, or th this uh, swing area right here between 1.0581 and 1.0583 will be a level that if we get above, we look toward the 50% midpoint uh, and then back toward the 100 hour moving average at 1.0602. Too. So sellers are, are trying to continue the uh, trend to the downside. I need to get below the 1.0562 level to increase the bearish bias. Let's uh, take a look at the dollar versus yen next. And if I uh, look at the hourly chart, uh, same story uh, uh, that we've had um, most recently. The uh, 150 level remains a key resistance on the top side for this pair. Uh, the uh, moving averages uh, held support uh, after breaking back above yesterday. Uh, here, here, and uh, the 100 uh, higher 100 hour moving average tried to hold the support in trading here today, 149.82. So we're in a very narrow trading range through here with the 100 hour moving average as a, a, a close support and the 150 level as close resistance. Uh, watch those levels. Uh, of course, if the price moves above the 150 level, there is some fear that the Bank of Japan may, uh, or some sort of story about the Bank of Japan may come out and force smart price. Uh, uh, back uh, sharply to the downside, uh, similar to what we saw here and what we saw here. Uh, but, um, you know, there's nothing guaranteed, but uh, the bias remains more to the upside. U.S. real yields, by the way, are moving higher, which is supported to the dollar versus yen. The 10-year yield is currently up 4.5 basis points. So be aware of that dynamic. Uh, lots of times the dollar yen does fo follow the U.S. yield moves in the day. Let's take a look at the sterling versus US dollar. And like the euro versus US dollar, we saw a sharp move to the downside in trading yesterday. And we're seeing a continuation of the move to the downside in trading here today. Uh, the uh, 100 and 200 hour moving averages, which were are uh, converged, uh, were tested in the uh, early Asian or the Asian session into the early European session. And as you can see, there was some reluctance to head back above those moving averages. And ultimately, the price did find resistance against the level and force its way to the downside. Uh, we are moving down toward uh, a uh, swing area down here between 121.05 and 121.11. Uh, that level does uh, correspond uh, with other uh, swing levels going back in time. If we just put it to the four hour chart, and you can see the number of different times that the price uh, held support here and then uh, here, and then we broke below that area and then uh, moved back above it and found support against it right here, here, and here. Once again, in trading, uh, admittedly, last week, the price did fall below that swing area, but uh, not, not one, but two different times, but uh, momentum could not be sustained. In fact, we had double bottom uh, near the 120.88 level, uh, but this level between 121.05 and 121, what is that, 11 or 12 or 
something like that. Uh, I'll put it on the hourly chart here. Uh, 121.05 and 121.11, uh, yeah, uh, is the uh, support. And we are trying to find support against that level in trading here today. If we break below, we'll look toward the 88 level, uh, the low prices from last week's trading. So there you have it, a, a, a quick start look at the uh, three of the major currency pairs. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading today. Bye-bye now.